Pretty Loti for Life Chaotic here, bringing you guys a brand new video. So today, these are four suggestions that I have for Chaotic's success. This is really more so for Brian Gannon and the guys at Epic Story Media, okay? Now, I do also want to see what your guys' opinions are and, of course, what ideas you guys have down below for Chaotic to succeed in its relaunch and revival. And, you know, take everything I say... Uh, with a grain of salt, I'm not a marketing strategist. I'm not a uh, businessman. I've never taken anything like that. So I don't know how feasible these things are to do. And I know nothing about how business works. So these are really more so just suggestions that I think that would really help out the game. And I hope that uh, they consider similar things or something as much as they can. So let's get on with it. First and foremost, I think the TV show, since they want to focus on that to gauge public interest, the TV show needs to be available everywhere, like as in in, in as many places as possible. Okay, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, which it already is, <coughs> DVDs and Blu-rays, TV channels. As many places as they can get it on. Okay, you know, uh, you, you don't have to make all 79 episodes available right away. You could release them a bit at a time, you know, like one season at a time. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh! did. Yu-Gi-Oh! put each season of each series on a little bit at a time on Netflix. And it's also available on Amazon. And I think it might be on Hulu as well. And, you know, putting it on these places. Because here's the thing. TV <clears throat> is a dying thing okay it really is i hate saying it especially as somebody who grew up with tv grew up with cartoon network nickelodeon four kids all that stuff i hate seeing tv go but however nowadays streaming uh channels like you know hulu netflix so on and so forth they are the future and that's where kids are going to be watching their cartoons from here on out and so getting the uh show on these streaming sites and channels is going to be the best place to put them on, okay? I really personally do not want to see Chaotic on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, okay? And <clears throat> anybody who knows anything about cartoons knows why, okay? Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon are, they, they know for a fact that if they do not keep pushing SpongeBob for Nickelodeon, and Teen Titans Go for Cartoon Network, they, they are afraid they will die as a channel from there on out. Because once it get without their golden childs there, hey, Cartoon Network was on the verge of bankruptcy before Teen Titans Go came out and did well. And both channels have an, a tendency to just scrap shows that are not doing well. And heck, let's be honest, if you go and click on uh, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon right now, I guarantee you, Cartoon Network's playing Teen Titans Go and <laughs> Nickelodeon's playing Spongebob. And if they aren't, it's a miracle. Uh, so I, I would really rather not see Chaotic get put on one of those channels. Uh, if if they do want to go onto a TV show channel, you know, standard TV channel, I would say personally either one of the Disney channels would probably be the best. Or if you absolutely have to go with Cartoon Network Toonami will probably be the safer bet because Toonami is technically a separate block and honestly it's more for action shows which Chaotic is. The only issue is that that's at night time so it's more geared towards uh, teenagers and adults but considering that's what the fan base is of Chaotic now you know like Chaotic fans are adults and teenagers that would be where uh, it would be but I don't know how well it appeal to new fans you know it's going to be one of those weird things. And that's why I really do recommend Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Keep up the Patonic Master or heck even take it down on YouTube and put up good uh, high quality uh episodes on youtube you know make it available everywhere get the word out as in, in many places as possible and likewise i also feel that releasing the series on dvd and blu-ray which it never got like officially released on dvd and blu-ray with the exception of like a few episodes that came with like the starter decks and stuff I, would be awesome you know like getting to see chaotic in blu-ray high definition on my on my you know freaking high definition tv flat screen would be amazing <laughs> and i'm sure i'm not the only one who would just absolutely scoop up those blu-rays and dvds the instant they came out i really feel like that, that would be the best way releasing the series onto of course the streaming sites and releasing a dvd blu-ray uh 
formatted discs release. <laughs> Moving on, and this is going to be controversial, I don't think codes is the way to go. And originally I was all for uh, bringing back codes and everything. In fact, that was like one of the biggest things that I was really kind of looking forward to. And then Negative Legend put a really good perspective on it with uh, one of his recent videos. Uh, if you guys haven't heard there was another card game that came out relatively recently called light seekers light seekers did a thing very similar to chaotic but they did it with like ar codes where like oh you scan the card and you get to play it online and you know it, they did basically they basically ripped off chaotic with it but i digress now here's the thing though this is not 2006 this is not 2009 you know it's been a decade and the world has changed and most notably the internet has changed you know back when we were all stupid little kids we didn't realize that well you know things can happen and scammers are out there you know uh, speaking of for like negative legend his thing that he cited was that he bought a card online and whenever he went to go and try and put the code on even though it said on eBay that the code was not used or something uh, it, the code was used or I think actually what ended up happening yeah and I remember um, he sold a card to a guy and then he typed that that person he sold the card to put the code in and then said that the code was not used I mean was used and basically requested a refund and because eBay pretty much almost always sides with the person requesting the refund he had to give the refund back so not only did the guy get to keep the card but he also got to keep the money which is really messed up and yeah that's an eBay issue but however these are issues that can and will happen with codes okay uh, secondly think about it like this if you want to open up a box of chaotic cards you could not do it in a public space okay let's say you're opening up a box at your local game store and you're opening them up and you pull I don't know the new max or okay somebody who's watching behind you I don't know about you guys but every time I open up a box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something people tend to come and watch to so see what you pull because they might want to get a card you want I mean that they pulled that you pulled that they want and the person who sees that max or could just very well as easily just snap a pic of it turn around go on to like the game online punch in the code before you even get a chance to do it and that's something that would be genuinely terrifying for me and would make me not want to open up chaotic product in public um, now likewise you'd be like oh well what about recording obviously I would put in the codes before uploading a box opening video or something you know um, but however that is something that what that would be genuinely frightening for me because somebody could just easily walk up take a pick of your cards as they're walking by and then just go and punch them in before you even get a chance to do it that's something that I was thinking about as I was writing out these suggestions and it is a frightening ordeal because then you got you know you got your piece of paper that you can use that in, in pub and you know live tournaments but you can't use the card online anymore that is that is terrifying Secondly, I honestly don't think they should honor old codes, okay, even if uh, they do bring back the code system, okay, the thing is is that these codes have been floating around for over almost a decade actually, now that I think about it, or in some cases over a decade, and these codes are easily obtainable from everywhere, okay, you can literally go on Google Images, search chaotic cards and find codes on there, okay, anybody with half a brain can figure that out. Secondly, content creators would have to rush to go and do to go and take down their videos or private them until they could, you know, put the codes on. And even then, I guarantee you, there are people out there right now clicking through my Negative Legends and other people's videos, taking the codes off of the videos, writing them down, and the instant anything's announced, they're gonna hop on and put those codes in and that is something that also terrifies me now granted yeah I'm kinda setting myself up for that but however so is a bunch of other people and you know not everybody knows about that you know chaotic is coming back yet you know so you know like I, you could go on to like an old video from like forever ago rip off the code from there punch it in and you know they probably won't be none the wiser uh, secondly again with the scammers okay something that somebody pointed out on the discord that is something that I didn't even think about but uh, basically 
there's a quite good possibility that people who sell cards on eBay or something very well could have wrote, written down all of the codes that they have for their cards and just in case for if the game comes back. And if they did, then that means that now the people who sell the cards, it's going to be a race to see who gets to punch in the code first. You know, that that's something that is also just not good. I think that it's just not healthy. And in all honesty, overall, I don't think the codes should... It, it's, it just won't work in the modern era. Now, that being said, if they want to do something similar to this, I would recommend do, taking a page out of Bakugan. Uh, not Bakugan, uh, Pokemon. Okay, Pokemon, at the uh, end of every pack that you open up, you get a little, like, QR code and with, like, a little, like, number code and everything. And you can redeem that code on uh, the official Pokemon app and get a free pack of digital a digital pack that way so that then you know you get your packs online too and I like that that's something that I genuinely like and it's like the only redeeming factor for the Pokemon card game for me <laughs> so I really feel like that if you're gonna do codes in any way whatsoever that would be the best way to go about it additionally if they really 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 want to honor codes uh, the old ones the only way that I personally can think of that would work and this is just again as an idiot online this is the only way I could think of that it would work and that is at like a big tournament or something you could have like a little desk somewhere with uh, some people sitting there and you could bring up your own your old cards show it to them physically show them that you know the, the manager or whatever the uh, the game manager Show them that you have the card. They punch it in their system, redeem you for a, uh, then print out like a new code for the same card or a functional reprint of the card for the modern game, and then you get that code to go punch in on the actual game. That's the only way that I could possibly think of that this would work, and that's only because then you physically show that you have the card, you prove that you have the card, you prove that you have the code. And then also now that code is you know has been used and nobody can rip you off on it. That would be that's the only way that I can personally think of. And I really hope that if they do something to honor the old codes, they do something like that where you gotta actually physically have the card with you at like an event or something to prove that you have it and that that card is yours with the code. Just something that I was kind of thinking of. Again, guys, if you have any ideas down below, uh, please leave your comments down below. I would really appreciate anything that you guys say. Next up, I think that the game needs to be available for everywhere. Okay, this is talking about the online game, okay? Uh, you know, mobile, PC, consoles, the physical game, obviously, and make it available everywhere. One of the big things that personally for me and a lot of other people I know that got us into chaotic as kids was because we could play it online on our computers. I One of the big reasons why I got out of Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid and Pokemon and the other card games was because there was no local game store. My parents couldn't drive me out somewhere to go somewhere all the time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So if I wanted to play a card game, I'd just load up my computer and play. And you know, that's a lot of fun and I'm sure that that's how Chaotic will do things again, but I would also really like to see it available uh, everywhere. You know, take a page out of Hearthstone, okay? Hearthstone is available on PC and computer, but let's step that up a bit and also make Chaotix uh, online game format available on consoles as well. Imagine if, like, okay, uh, I'm playing on, I'm playing a duel on my uh, computer. Okay, I gotta go, so I wrap up that duel, and then, hey, I'm going on a road trip. I can bring my phone or my Switch and play on the go. Or, hey, I don't want to get up and get on my computer, so I'm just going to lay on my bed and play Chaotic on my PS4. That'd be so cool. Okay, now, is, is it feasible? I don't know. Is it doable? I don't know. It'd be really, really, really cool. And I really feel like that it would help out with getting Chaotic in as many hands as possible, you know. And that would also, of course, help spread the word of Chaotic, because imagine if it was available everywhere. And, you know more and more kids would be able to play and more and more people would be able to play and it just helped facilitate the game doing better and it just dawned on me that they probably couldn't put it on ps4 because sony really does not want to do cross play so <laughs> but other than ps4 it could be everywhere so 
I, I really hope that they do consider that because that would be really something cool to help facilitate the game and just get in people's uh, pockets and you know get you know get people to spend money on the game. Finally, and I know people are gonna just be like, "Oh, you're just saying this because you you are a content creator," but I really do feel like that supporting content creators is something that is gonna be uh, really instrumental in making Chaotic have a great comeback. And before you go, ah, you're a content creator, you just want free stuff. No, okay. I honestly, I am such a small, insignificant puddle on YouTube that my voice doesn't matter, okay. Everybody who follows me already is interested in Chaotic. Everybody who follows me on my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel is already either interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Chaotic. My voice ultimately does not matter in the grand scheme of things. So what I'm saying here is get the attention of the big content creators. You know, Billiam, Negative Legend, uh, uh, I think Chad Tronic did a video on Chaotic. I can't remember. There was another big video on Chaotic. You know, uh, take a page out of Bakugan Strategies, okay? Contact the big Yu-Gi-Oh! creators, you know? CMO, MCO40, Mega Capital G. Ask them to do videos on Chaotic and fly them out to, like, a big event or something to promote the game. You know, ultimately, I don't care if I don't get anything from the Chaotic people, from Epic Story Media or anything, okay? This is... I just want this game to succeed. And if that means, you know, all the big content creators that are far, far bigger and far, far more important than I ever will be gets to, you know, promote the game and everything, I don't mind. And I would actually very much, I would very much appreciate that because then the game would get into more people's minds, more people would hear about it. And getting the word out to people that Chaotic is back. Is something that I really really want to see and if you know and that means contacting the people who matter the big youtubers uh, negative legend billiam mco 40 mega capital G uh, cyber Knight will probably like it uh, I'm trying to think uh, Simo Simo still is talking about Bakugan they really got him into Bakugan Okay, if, if Bakugan can get Simo into Bakugan, Chaotic should be very, it should be very easy to get him into Chaotic, and I'm sure he will talk about it to no end. So, you know, contact those big Yu-Gi-Oh creators, contact the big Magic creators, I don't think, I don't know if Bakugan contacted any of them, and if they did, they probably said, nah, no one, no one Magic players. <laughs> but, uh, I really, really want to see Chaotic do well. And that means spreading the word to as many people as possible. And that means getting as much attention from the big content creators as possible. So that's my four suggestions for Chaotic's successful revival. I don't know. I mean, obviously these are not all the steps needed. And I don't even know if these will help. And in all honesty, I really don't. And I'm not a marketing, per uh, I'm not a marketing person. I'm not a businessman. I'm just some idiot on the internet with a microphone, and I want to get my voice and opinions out there. And I hope you guys do too. If you guys have any ideas for how they can really make chaotic, uh, really succeed, please leave your comments down below. I I know Brian Gannon follows me on Twitter, so I hope he catches wind of this video, and I hope he sees it. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a great day. And hey, if you're curious about what I personally want to see, I'm going to be doing another video talking about 10 things I want to see from Chaotic as it comes back. Uh, these are just suggestions for a brief successful, a successful revival. I do have some other ideas, but those are more superfluous things that I could live with or without. So these are important things, though. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. See you all later. Peace out and goodbye.